Let's take a look at complex numbers on a T83 calculator. First one to take a look at is square root of negative 49. Well, if I type this in, one of two things will happen. So I'll do second x squared for the square root, and I'll put in negative 49, closing parentheses, and press enter. And in this case, we get an error, non-real answer. And you might have got that, or you might not have. I'll just go ahead and do an error on the quit. If I go into mode, you'll see down here there's a real A plus BI and then RE uh, caret theta I. Well, if I come down to this line, right arrow, put my flashing cursor on A plus BI and press enter. And do a second mode exit out of that. Now if I do a square root of negative 49, put a closing parentheses and press enter, it gives me 7i. So if, if you're getting non-real answer, go set your mode and then that'll, that'll fix it. Now adding to uh, complex numbers. You yeah, pretty well type it in as you see it. So I'll do a beginning parentheses, 1 plus 5. Now the i is above your decimal. So you do second decimal to get to i, closing parentheses plus, beginning parentheses, 8 minus 2, second decimal for the i, and then closing parentheses, and then press enter. And our answer would be 9 plus 3i. Now for subtraction. Again, you pretty well type it as you see it. So do a beginning parentheses, 3 plus 2, second decimal for the i, closing parentheses, minus, beginning parentheses, 4 minus 7, second decimal for the i, closing parentheses, and press enter. And our answer will be negative 1 plus 9i. For multiplication, again, we're going to type in as we see it. So I got beginning parentheses, 11 minus second decimal for the i, closing parentheses, beginning parentheses, 2 plus 3, then second decimal for the i, closing parentheses, enter. And our answer is 25 plus 31i. Now division. It's a little bit different. Anytime you have more than a single number, single variable, single i, single anything on top or bottom of your fraction, you have to put parentheses around it on the calculator. So the trick to this is put parentheses on the top part, parentheses on the bottom part. So do a beginning parentheses, 3 plus 2, second decimal for the i, closing parentheses, divided by beginning parentheses, 5 minus second decimal, and then closing parentheses and then press enter. Now we'll get uh, decimals, 0 0.5 plus 0.5i. If you press your math button and then you do enter on frac and enter again, math enter enter, that'll change it to 1 half plus 1 half i and that's our answer. Now i to the fourth. Well if I do second decimal for the i and then I do caret 4 and press enter, then we get 1 and that'd be our answer. But let's look at i to the 401st power. See how it, we'll see what it gives us there. So I'm going to do second i for the decimal, caret 401, and press enter. Gives us kind of a bizarre result. Let's see how to interpret that. I get my tablet. Uh, there it is. Okay. So I got 4.9. e to the negative 12 plus i. This is scientific notation. That mean, this means 4.9 times 10 to the negative 12 plus i. Now 10 to the negative 12 means I move my decimal place 12 places to the left. So I got point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4, 9 plus i. Well, if you think what this rounds to right here, this rounds to 0. So we've got 0 plus i, or our answer is i. The calculator performs these calculations numerically, if possible. And when it performs it numerically, sometimes you have rounding error pops up. 
Anytime you have rounding error, and uh, there it goes. Anytime you have rounding error, when you get that E, when you're dealing with complex numbers, unless you're dealing with something with chemistry or something with astronomy, you can pretty well ignore the part that has an E on it. So that would be zero automatically plus I, or just I is our answer. Now that's how you do complex numbers on a T83 calculator.